record, okay. So my big run is up, you see. Mark run always will still run, okay. So now I can say vagrants SSH means vagrant secure shell. Okay. And it has been secured. How I know when I see Bagrin dash Ubuntu dash trusty 64, it means it has been secured now. Then I say CD slash vagrant. Now I'm entering into my actual yeah. virtual computer mm. and I'm now inside the computer, okay? Mm. I can start a new project. To start new project, the command is rails new and name of the project. Name of the project is safer. Leonard app, say for example. Mm. Leonard app. Mm. Just small uh, small commands. Mm. Rails new. It's a command, Ruby command. Actually, Rails, Ruby, oh, Rails okay. command. The command created all these files for us. If we go to create all these files and folders, it will take hours, right? Mm, Since yeah. Rails, Ruby on Rails is a framework, actually most of the tasks are done by the framework. It's done for us, okay? Mm -hmm. um, now, so many, we cannot see almost everything. Okay, how I can see them? Let me, ah, okay. So now, I go to the new project, name of the project is Lena App. Mm. Say, we don't have, we don't have this app. Why? Let's check. Can you see? Here it is. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. CD e Leonard. In ERD. Right. Yeah. Now we are inside the Leonard app. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's try to clear it. Yes be able to clear it. Now let's check where is Leonard app. Can you see? Right here. Okay. Mm, yeah. Now see all these files and folder ha folders have been created, created for me. For you. Inside the app we have assets. In the assets we have images JavaScripts and style sheet. Little different than front end web development. Yeah. And we have also controller. We have controller. And inside the controller, we have application underscore controller. We have <clears throat> helper. We don't need to know all these things right now, actually. Mm -hmm. And we have also models. 
most important one is controllers, models, and views in any framework. Okay. Mm. Controllers control the web application with its routes. Models controls the database. And views controls the front end pages, web pages. Okay. Right now, just try to understand how our templates or designs or blueprints can help us create object. I just want to make you understand this part clearly, <clears throat> okay? Now, what I can do, I can create a model. I can say Rails G means generate. You can write in full or you can just write G. Mm -hmm. Rails generate model and name of the model is user say for example it can be anything okay user and the user will have name and name is string it can have email address and it is also string and it can have also age and age is integer, okay, clear? Mm -hmm. And when I, before it, before doing it, what we have to do actually, we have to go to gem file, and we have to give version to SQLite. Version, what is it? Tilde. Tilde. Tilde greater than 1.3.13. And we need another gem that is for presentation and it is hard. I save it and I just share run, sorry, bundle install. It will run all this gem file and install necessary gems that are nothing but libraries that helps us to get our task done very quickly. Enter and it will install all necessary gem file and gems, okay? Mm. We are done, okay. Now I can say Rails G means generate model. Name of the model is user. And the user will have a name. Name is string. And he or she might have Gmail. Gmail is also string okay. and H. H is integer. Integer. Okay. Now look after name of the model, whatever we are writing here, there is no commas. No commas except spaces. Okay. Press enter. 
and it will create a model where inside the db you see inside the db we have now model you can check click here and check user user create user okay mm. it has users table and it has name name is string email string age integer and this t is actually variable it can be x that doesn't matter then you have to change all to x understand and it's coming automatically when he, whenever we are running this command okay fine now look here right now right now inside the dv means database okay inside the database we have migrate file it's not file it's also folder inside it we have a file create underscore dot use dot rb and we have c dot db another file so actually we have two files only now when i will run a run a command break db migrate this file will be migrated and it will create another file look at it we have right now only two it will create a database real database look here you see schema db schema dot db this is the database mm -hmm. that we just now created okay mm -hmm. now we created database that's really amazing but my purpose is not to show you how we create database mm -hmm. and what we are creating inside the database my purpose is to make you understand how from a uh, blueprints or template we can create n number objects okay now mm. look this is our class uh, where when i go to take rests oh uh, when i go to models where i can see the user rb okay just a minute okay when i click here we have controller inside control we have concern application controller dot rp we have views inside the view we have layouts Oh, all these files okay now let me show you uh, inside the model we have user rb look at it inside the model this model has class you see class and this is class keyword and this user is name of the class okay name of the class okay and this less than active record base means class is smaller than this active records what does it mean 
active record has lot of classes actually mm -hmm. it has n number of classes and we are inheriting smaller means this class is taking everything from here in programming we say inheriting attributes and methods and functions okay so whatever active record has and base mm -hmm. user can use them means inherit them mm -hmm. okay so user is a class remember and active record has lots of classes and this class is one of them only and it can inherit means use all whatever we have inside it can be attributes, it can be classes, it, it can be functions, it can be methods, everything. Okay, now this is class, remember, class. I said class is what? Blueprint. Now look very carefully how it works in programming, any programming language. Rails, C means console. Console is nothing but C. like, terminal another terminal where we can run commands also okay rails console means rails terminal console you can type console or just write c means console and now we are inside the console if you check user dot all you see active record relation nothing inside the square bracket there is nothing zero still we don't have anything we don't have any users mm -hmm. select users from users we have no users at all because we haven't created it yet okay now see user whenever i say equal to we are assigning something right mm. uh, assignment operator this sign is assignment operator or it can be also comparison operator these are comparison operator but when there is only equal to assigning operator user dot new remember we have a class class is nothing but a blueprint but from a class you can create n number object from a design from a blueprint you can create n number houses from car blueprint you can create millions of cars same way from one user user since it is a class it says it is a class from class we can use n number users and user is one of them i'm creating one user equal to class dot new means from this class i'm creating a new object understand Mm. how 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 we can create it look at it i just say enter and you see now we have the blueprint we can see id nil means nothing this is just blueprint name nil nothing email nil nothing age nil nothing created at nil updated at nil everything is nil what does it mean it is just a blueprint mm -hmm. from where we are getting it from this user class from this user class okay now actually how now we can create object look how i'm creating object user dot i just say name name is this I'm taking this blueprint name 
equal to Leonard comments. Okay. Mm. Boom. This sign arrow showing name has been created part of object and I just say in place of name I'll take this blueprint what is it email I'm using just the blueprints and email is leo at gmail.com say for example enter is showing it has been created okay and again user dot h say for example he is 21 years old you happy right 20, with 21 years yeah Okay, <laughs> enter, it has taken. Now, now Rubel is inside, engineer Rubel, mm -hmm. welcome. Oh, he's coming. I'm late, I'm late, very Too late. late. Too late, no problem. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are creating objects, I'm Ringo. showing how object can be created. Okay, try to understand, just simple. Now you see, if I say user, user is class. What we have inside class? What are the object we have? Zero, nothing. Still we don't have nothing. Why? Why? Because we didn't save it. We didn't save it. Oh. If you just say user, the object we have created, just save it, save, dot save. You see, now all these have been created and saved. Now you can check. You see, user dot all. Now you see, ID is one, name is Leonard Gomez, email is leogmail.com, age is 21, okay? Now, it is not beautiful or handsome. It doesn't look good. It's not presentable. It's very difficult to even understand them what is inside. To make it presentable, do you remember we uh, installed Jam Herb? Herb? Remember? Herb, where? Inside the gem file, where it is? Gem file. Where is her? Remember this one? Her. But when you write here, her will be capital because we are writing it at the very beginning. And just say enable dot enable means herb get up you have to work okay enable and it's a true means already enabled if it is a false it is not enabled true means yes i'm ready okay mm. now check user dot all now it will show you very nicely yeah. The... on a table on a table oh. you see um... what is better this one or this one? Oh, the table on the table yeah it is very clear now clearly you can see each and everything what inside mm -hmm. what are the data inside of it now see how we are creating object from a class class is what Class is just, so we see here, user.rb, user. Class is just user. user. And this is class keyword, class. And user, it is name of the class. Okay. 
and user class is inheriting all attributes in methods from active records from base. Okay, we say from active record base, user is inheriting whatever they have. Less than means class is smaller than this. This means they are parents. Like your son is inheriting each and everything from you. Whatever you have, you have money, it is for your son. You have a nice house, this is for your son. Food, this is for your son. Okay? So your son is class, say for example, you are parent, means your son is inheriting each and everything, whatever you have. He is taking everything and using it. Understand? Mm. Okay, now we have, this is object. Object means whatever you have created from your class, this is object. Okay. Classes, blueprints are designed. Design. From car blueprint, you can create million of cars. From a uh, design of a house, means from blueprint of a house, you can create millions of houses. Same way, from just this user, you can create n number object, object. n number users. Leonard Gomez is one of the users only. Okay, let's see how we can create more users. Now, directly we can create the other way. I have shown you this way we can create and we can also create this way. How? Directly we can say user class dot create. What we are creating? We are creating object. What is object? Object are users. users. Mm -hmm. I can say name of the user name is Rubel. Okay. Rubel, I can use full name, Raksham. Okay. And comma, Rubel has email. Okay. Rubel at the rate gmail.com. Okay. And Rubel has also age. Rubel is 19 years old. 19. Yeah. Okay. Since 19 is integer. Looking for girlfriends. Yeah. We don't need. <laughs> We don't need inverted comma or yeah. inverted commas, okay? Now, you see, Rubel has been created. Now, what mm -hmm. are the difference between creating directly from class and creating object like one by one? Mm -hmm. You create one by one like this way, mm -hmm. you have to save. But if you create directly from class like this way, you don't need to save. Mm. Now, if you just say user dot all, now we have two objects, two users. Two users, yeah. Two users, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, and now we can create, I told you, numerous n number objects. How? Now I can just, this is template now, like this is blueprints. Now from blueprint, I can create n number users. I can say Babul and Gmail is Babul at gmail.com and his age is 18. 18. 
18 or 80? Okay, 80. 18, 18. No, no, 18. no. I said 18. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Most junior. Okay. Yeah. All right. You see, bubble user means object mm -hmm. has been created. User dot all. Check it. Oh, okay. we have the three. Yeah, we have three now. So now you can create data or object. Mm. N number, N number, millions, billions, we want. Now these are our database. I told you these are database. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are creating our database and the real database is here. You, you cannot access it directly, okay? Okay, now, even you can retrieve data, how? You can say user dot find, you want ID number two. ID number two is who? Rubel. Mm. Or you can say user, you can say I want last, like you have 100 users and you just say last, the last one, 100 number will come. The last one is Babul. You want first data, just say first. Just first. And it, it will show the young man, Leonard mm -hmm. Gomez. We call it retrieving data. And retrieving data, we can test whether uh, Mr. Leonard is there or not, whether uh, number one is there or not. Or you can, if you have hundreds, you can just say, find 100 and it will show you the 100 number number 100 you know how we data data is created how we can create object and store inside the data and this oh, is back end development hmm. this is back end development we are developing data backend of our website, okay? Now, I want to find number three and what I can say, I can even say three, destroy. And if you check user dot all, only two, only two, bubble has been destroyed forever. Destroyed. Um, deleted. Destroy means delete here. Delete. Um, <laughs> actually, actually, when you destroy, you can return it. When you delete, you cannot return it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just make you understand how object is created from class. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. This was practical. Now go to the theory. Mm. Theory where you can get it. Just go to W3 school. Go to tutorials, go to JavaScript, and go to object. Now you know what is object. Object is why, where, 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 object. Object. Object are nothing but properties, properties, name, model, way, color, these are properties. Methods are action, start, drive, break, stop. Understand? Attributes and properties are name, 
Gmail address, profession, which is not verb, which is not action. But methods are action, star, and it has parentheses. Okay, object, object, object. These are object, 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 car object. This is properties, properties, properties. Car is object. At the same time, variable. Now go to class. Class is nothing but, I say template or blueprints. Okay. Now how class is created. Use the keyword class to create a class. Then always add a method name constructor. It is method. Whenever you see parenthesis, first bracket, that means it is a method, action. Class, class name, class name is capital. Calibrasis, then constructor method calibrases and inside the calibrases we write javascript code like car car is name of the class calibrases starts here calibrases ends here constructor parenthesis calibrases calibrases ends here name and year name is properties attribute and properties right name year name properties okay so inside the method we put properties and attributes and we call them also arguments this is nothing but car class representing car means car dot name equal to name car dot year equal to year okay now see how it works. Okay. Now, what is our class car? Okay. You see how, how we are creating object. This is object, new object, new car. From car class, we are crazy creating my car and it is new object and inside Name is Ford, year is 2014. Name Ford, year 2014. And document dot get element by ID, demo ID is demo, it can be anything, dot inner HTML equal to, now you can write whatever you want, my car dot name means my car is object. When you put dot, you can access the attribute and methods. Plus, it is just for space. My car is object. Where? Where my car is object? Right here. And when you put dot, you can access the year. Okay. And when you run it, it will run for 2014. Now, just copy it. Copy it into your JavaScript file, okay? One by one and try to understand how it is working. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm coming back within 20 minutes. So you have 20 minutes to do this drill. You can work together, no problem. Okay? Mm. Actually, I'm very behind, so. Actually, you can call from mm, Messenger and you can share your screen on Messenger and work together. All right. I'll do, I'll do later together because 
very behind still. No, you can I work know. together now. You have 20 <laughs> minutes. I'm coming within 20 minutes. Okay.